Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a numerical expression. I guess we could call this a homemade rational expression or just an arithmetic problem with exponentials. So we have 2 to the power 23 minus 2 to the power 22 minus 2 to the power 21 minus 1. And we're going to simplify this expression. And of course, that's divided by 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared all the way up to 2 to the power 20. Great. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So before we start with the first method, let's talk a little bit about the magnitude of 2 to the power 23. Do you think that's a large number? Think about it. If you are familiar with 2 to the 10th power, we can write this as 2 to the 10th to the second, which is 2 to the power 20, multiplied by 2 to the power 3. Now, 2 to the 10th power is 1024, which is obviously greater than 1000, which is 10 to the third power. This also allows us to compare some exponential numbers that contain 2 and 10 as basis, because those numbers are pretty close. Okay, now notice that 2 to the 10 is greater than 1000, which is 10 to the third. So this number is going to be greater than 8 times 10 to the sixth power, which is 8 million. So our number is basically greater than 8 million. And then we're subtracting 2 to the 22 from that, it, which is going to be roughly 4 million. And then from that, we're going to subtract another number. And then finally, 1. If you don't subtract 1 at the end, it's not going to work. Okay, let's see how we can use the first method to solve this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the problem. First of all, notice that the top and the bottom are kind of different. So I can't really do something like, okay, when you have a problem like, okay, 2 to the power 23 plus 2 to the power 22 divided by 2 to the power 22 minus 2 to the power 21. I could take out the, the smallest, uh, greatest common factor here, which is 2 to the power 21, and then simplify easily, right? Because they are kind of like the, of the same type. I can factor both the top and the bottom. But in this case, they're different. Because first of all, the numerator, no common factors, and the denominator, also no common factors, right? It's just one, in other words. I mean, one is not going to help. So here's what I'd like to do. I will take two terms at a time, which is going to be very helpful. You'll see. Now, let's go ahead and focus on these two terms first. What is 2 to the power 23 minus 2 to the power 22? What is it? Well, 2 to the power 23 is 2 to the power 22 plus 1. Therefore, it can be written as 2 to the power 22 times 2 to the power 1, which is 2, minus 2 to the power 22. This is kind of like 2x minus x, which is 1x, 2 to the power 22. In other words, if you subtract 2 to the power 23 minus 2 to the power 22, you get the smaller number. Make sense? Okay, great. So we can generalize this. We can generalize this. But before we do, let's go ahead and subtract one more time. This becomes 2 to the power 22. Now I'm going to subtract this number. So now I have 2 to the 22 minus 2 to the 21. And just by the same token, 2 times 2 to the power 21 minus 1 times 2 to the power 21 gives me 2 to the power 21. Again, the same idea. And now I'm here. And now I need to subtract 1. So the numerator becomes, let's call that n, 2 to the power 21 minus 1. Now we can generalize this in general. In general, if you subtract 2 to the n plus 1 minus 2 to the n, you can basically write this as 2 to the n parentheses 2 minus 1, which is the same as 2 to the n. Okay. So as a general rule, we can say that because if you think about it, if you add 2 to the n plus 2 to the n, you get 2 to the power n plus 1. If you add 2 of the same powers, you get another power of 2. That's also good for solving some Diophantine equations because you, you add two powers of 2 and then you get a power of 2. So those two, two powers have to be equal. Otherwise, it kind of goes into binary 2. Let's say you add 2 to the 3rd and 2 to the 5th. There's no way you're going to get a power of 2 from here. But you're going to get all the other numbers. Make sense? That's pretty interesting. Look up binary uh, base 2. You'll find a lot of interesting content. Anyways, so we got the numerator. Let's go ahead and work on the denominator. What is the denominator? Well, the denominator is 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared, dot, 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 all the way up to 2 to the power 20. To add this, we're going to use a finite geometric series formula. If you don't know what it is, if you don't know what it is, you can kind of 
come up with the formula real quick, but I'll give you what it is. If you, let's just say all the way up to r to the n. Usually the formulas are given all the way up to r to the power n minus one because you want to have n terms, but in this case, I want to end with r to the n because it's kind of easier to remember, I don't know. Just increase the power by one and then here you go. This is the formula. And if you want to prove this, set it equal to s, multiply by r, subtract, and you'll get the idea. And I believe we've made a proof of the infinite case in another video. Of course, for infinite case, it has to convert, so r must be between negative one and one. Anyways, that's a different story. Let's keep focused. So we got the denominator, did we? No, not yet. But let's use the formula on this, one plus two plus two squared. Notice that two is greater than one, but we can still find the sum. So according to this formula, it's gonna be two to the power 20 minus one divided by Actually, sorry, it's supposed to be 2 to the power 21 because I'm supposed to increase by 1. Divide by 2 minus 1. But 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, so that's nice. The answer is just 2 to the power 21 minus 1. That is our denominator. Make sense? What's our numerator? Let's go back. Uh-oh, it's the same. Is that a surprise? It shouldn't be. So in other words, we get 2 to the power 23 minus 2 to the power 22 minus 2 to the power 21 minus 1 all over 1 plus 2 plus 2 squared dot 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 plus 2 to the 20 is equal to 2 to the power 21 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power 21 minus 1 which is equal to 1. So our fraction is equivalent to 1. Make sense? All right let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Now for the second method I'm going to use a different approach which is kind of faster. Instead of dealing with 2 at a time let's go ahead and take care of all the powers of 2. I want to take out a 2 to the power 21. I said there is no common factor. If you exclude the 1, there is, right? I kind of try to fool you there. But you get 2 to the second minus 2 to the first minus 1. And this is 4 minus 2 minus 1, which is 4 minus 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, so this is 1. This is just 1. So this becomes 2 to the power 21, the three powers. You see, we got it in one step. So the numerator becomes 2 to the 21 minus 1. And the denominator is going to be 2 to the 21 minus 1 from the geometric series. As you know before, we just calculated it, right, by using this formula. And then we got that. So that should, I mean, I'm kind of cheating, right, using the first method, but you get the idea. But again, quickly, if you want to know how this works, you can go ahead and write it like this, all the way up to r to the n, and then multiply both sides by r. rs is going to give you r plus r squared and then r to the n plus r to the n plus 1. So you're going to have, you're going to be missing the 1, but you're going to have an extra term. And when you subtract s minus r s, you're going to get, everything is going to cancel out here. You're going to end up with 1 minus r to the n plus 1. And if you factor out s and divide both sides by 1 minus r, you're going to get the formula. But uh-oh, isn't that backwards? Yes, if you negate both the top and the bottom, you're just going to get a different version. Both versions are fine. And you could probably use the first one if r is less than 1. It's a little bit more convenient. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.